Good evening all and welcome back to A Place in Space. You find us a little bit later than usual tonight because, well frankly, it's been a massive delivery, but we're just about through it now. So, I've got a slightly different setup on the way to go. I've got some sort of organized chaos here in front of me, so we can get through it. Right, the Amazing Spider-Man LR issues have commenced and you might wonder what that is. That is, Last Remains will be partaking throughout Amazing Spider-Man. They're not separate one-shots, they will be within the main storyline and they will look like that. So if you see 50.LR, that's exactly what you're after. That is the main issue of Amazing Spider-Man proper, but also they're dedicating the LRs to Last Remains, all right? So don't be confused. Cunningly enough, after issue 100 comes one issue 101 from Batman. James Tinian continues, so Joker War, I don't want to say it's over, because you'll see just what I mean in a few moments' time, but that is definitely a little bit of a new beginning from Mr. James and Co. Batman White Knight presents Harley Quinn. Now, if you're anything like me, um, Sean Murphy's done a rather wonderful job within the last few years of revitalising certain core and key components of Batman. The grittiness, the, the animosity amongst you know, some of the core villains, the willingness to just get bloody violent, if I'm perfectly honest. Both White Knight and Curse of the White Knight are a bit of a joy to behold, in addition to the Mr. Freeze one-shot. I'm getting some shaking heads behind the camera, but this is my own personal love affair and opinion. Harley Quinn, a character that I will confess to having isn't quite my cup of tea, is now being addressed in similar fashion. And I've got massive hopes for this one. I loved Harleen by Stefan Sejic, the preceding Harley Quinn Black Label series. Cannot wait to read that. Sean Murphy scripting, normally and overseeing, I should say, the series really really my cup of tea with these boys so yeah he's hoping that should be at least anything dark catwoman issue 26 has the joker war collateral damage participating out throughout so there's still a few little nuggets of the joker war falling out this week tomasi handles probably one of the most sought after one shots in quite some time this is the robin king so if i'm still holding this by the time the video ends i'll be quite surprised but yeah we have these for the moment brian herbert um yeah, slightly insane, bit of a genius, and he did write June. June has now been adapted by those wizards at Boom. Uh, they have had a heck of a couple of years, as we have been saying here for some time. Boom have done hit after hit after hit. I will say, this looks beautiful. Who's on the artwork? This is Dev Pravmanic. He's giving you stuff like this. Look away if you don't want to see inside, but it's a bit pretty. If you're a sci-fi buff, get involved. If you've never read June, get involved. I've never read June, but hey-ho. Let's see what it does. I've, I've got no idea what to expect other than Paul, our esteemed colleague here, who's normally rates it grunt out of 10, has said woof. So, I'll fill you in later. Gideon Falls, the penultimate issue, issue 26, has finally arrived. Juggernaut number one was a bit of a sneaky hit. Two's out and basically all but gone. If you want it, get involved quick. It's not hanging around, especially violent issue. Juggernaut, Hulk, doing the thing. Yeah, there's punching. It's not particularly witty, but oh my good God, it's a lot of fun. Nightwing comes in for the glossiest cover of the week award on 75. More Joker collateral damage is playing out within this one here, and he's back. Probably been on holiday, but he's back now. Let's talk Rick Remender. Y'all been sleeping on this one. The Scumbag, number one, is out. Nobody's asked me for this. Why not? It's awesome. It's Rick Remender. He's done low. This, I'm putting this in all your files. Just deal with it, all right? You're all getting it. This is the Scumbag, issue one. Beautiful interiors. Look away if you don't want to see inside. Keep watching if you do. La Rossa on the artwork. Ugh, with Rick Commander, you know it's going to be frighteningly violent and all kinds of depressing and frankly a whole lot of fun, if I'm honest. Just no idea what it's about, other than it's a Rick Commander number one. New out on the image. If I'm still holding it again by the end of the video, I'll be quite surprised. Spider Woman is on issue five, which is cause for celebration with 99 covers, but it is, of course, the legacy issue of issue 100. That's the art German one I've just peeked out for this video. Two more for the main, and then we'll hit some covers of the week super quickly. Werewolf by Night has its long, timely, somewhat overdue, reappearance again. And of course, Donny Cates continues his mission to take over the entire world. That's the latest issue of Venom out this week. Now, uh, let's do some of these, because these are stunning. Going back to Gideon the Force, just a quickly, a um, few more covers of the week than normal this week, but there's some absolute corkers out, so I did want to highlight a few more than normal. The cover Bs, if you have been collecting them, you will know exactly what I want about. They've been eerie, they've been horrible, they've been nauseating in the best way. I adore them. The artist has changed from time to time, as Greg has called, illuminated me with today, so they, you will get a variety of cover artists on them on the cover Bs, but if you have been collecting them, woof, what a horror set that is, lovely. The Scumbag, this is Andrew Robertson, 
swaggering cover just made me chuckle. We're going to get back to the scumbag in just a second. Dark Knight's Death Metal Robin King number one. That is Jeremy Roberts causing a bit of a stir this week. Expect that to be an incredibly highly sought after 1 in 25 variant. Any Robin King cover right now does seem to be setting on fire a little bit. Jenny Frisham. We say her name a lot here in these hallowed halls. And I nearly swore. Reeled it back in there at the last second. Ooh. Something is killing the children. Number 11, Virgin variant. Cover price? No, probably not for very long, but... Dear God, Jenny, that's lovely. Uh, the Scumbag has a 1 in 50 foil cover. It's in the bag and board, so hopefully the camera will pick up some of that foil. But it's quite matte and lovely. That's really tastefully done. Um, back to Jenny, really. Done in one, Jenny. Lovely stuff. See you all in a week.